Hello everyone, welcome to the Burton Tower Draft League, Season 4, Week 1. My team, the Nashville Primals, is going to be going up against Young Gob of the Baltimore Beatles. Now his team, I will show up on screen on the left, or er, right, my bad. Uh, his team is a very scary sun team with Terra Venusaur, Terra Hoopa, and Terra Levani. So I had to do a lot of prep. And so my first pick, so for, my, for I had to use Iron Bundle. And the reason why I have Booster Energy plus uh, Timid Nature is with Booster Energy, Iron Bundle actually outspeeds Timid, Venusaur, and Sun. So we're able to just substitute on it. And if it goes for a growth, we just set up an Encore and we just Ice Beam. And Hydro Pump and Ice Beam do thousands of damage. There's no water type on this team, so we just don't, we don't need Freeze Dry. So it's either you click Hydro Pump, you click Ice Beam. Uh, we do have a uh, substitute for Roaring Moon. We have substitute for Status. Uh, but a major threat on this team will be um, Iron and Iron. Oh, what's it? Gouging Fire, Burning Bulwark, fella. I'm really scared to use that guy. Or really scared to go up against that guy. My bad, I've had a long day and OBS has been struggling today. So for my next pick, we have uh, Yvonne the Terrible, Thunderous. Now this set is a very bulky, specially defensive uh, rain setter with Prankster Thunder Wave and Rain Dance. Uh, it's just for opposing sun. We set it up on uh, Pokemon like uh, Gouging Fire, like a defensive Gouging Fire. Uh, Venusaur, maybe a Levani since it resists uh, both of its stabs. Uh, we could also uh, have it in on Hoopa, Thunder Wave that. U turn out, do super effective damage with that. Discharge is always nice for just guaranteed damage. I mean, uh, what's his name? Venusaur could block it if it has Terra Ground, but we could just. Uh, yeah. So for our next pick, we have Mary Joanna, the Diancie. Uh, with Terra Fairy, mainly for the uh, Roaring Moon matchup. We have Earth Power, Moon Blast, and Diamond Storm. Diamond Storm is there for if it is if the Gouging Fire is specially defensive. Moon Blast is for Roaring Moon. Earth Power is for Venusaur, Torkoal. Uh, yeah. Now I I was scared of an offensive, more offensively adamant um, Gouging Fire. So we have Dante with max HP. And 56 speed with a plus, uh, with a jolly nature. This allows Sandaconda to actually outspeed Gouging Fire if it's paralyzed. Being able to just Earthquake, rest up on it. And also the chip damage from Lucky Helmet for Levani, Roaring Moon. Uh, maybe a Deoxys uh, speed, which is pretty scary if it leaves off since my team is very uh, rocks weak. We'll, we'll discuss that later on in the weeks with an upcoming one point, uh, week 1.5 video, but that's for a later time. Uh, yeah, it also rocks is really good in this matchup since uh, a lot of Pokemon are rocks weak. Now the only reason I brought Iron Jugulus in this game is because, uh, what's it called? Deoxys Speed is really scary. And we don't want that hazard lead, so we want maximum special attack to do as much damage with Dark Pulses. We, we, we click Taunt, turn 1, and then just spam Dark Pulses until that thing dies, because we outspeed, we can maybe flinch, prevent rocks and spikes in general. Air Slash is there because uh, I don't want a 50% power Hurricane in Sun, because this Pokemon will definitely show up in Sun. Earth Power is just for super effective targets. And then for our last Mon, we have a specially defensive slow bro with a cobra berry just for roaring moon and knockoffs in general also for hound doom if it decides to come in with sludge wave ice beam power gem and flamethrower it's mainly just a uh, general coverage for the entire team all right i am just texting my opponent uh, all right and this is the team all right, I did a couple mocks with a uh, BS32 to really prep for this game, and uh, I'm really excited to be partnering with him since I do not have a single uh, encounter with him for the entire week. Now, if we both make it to playoffs, of course, we're gonna shut off for that week and not talk to each other and not mock with each other because you know we're up against each other. It's a pretty important week. All right. This 
This was a team. Okay. Um, I'm looking at this matchup. Oh, good luck, have fun. All right. Well, we 100% lead off with Iron Jugulus. I'm actually uh, pretty surprised. Oh, I forgot to mention that Enamorous uh, also some other Enamorous things, but it's it's fine. Actually, this this team this team is not that scary. Uh, it's pretty weird not seeing uh buddy, but it's weird not seeing Torkoal on this team. Uh, I am just gonna click the air slash. I'm I'm faster than this thing, two billion percent. I mean, if you can look at the stats, also the names on here. Also look at all the people who uh, show up. Shoutouts to the Burn Tower Draft League. Love them all. Love the community. They're all very nice. Uh, I gotta say that the names, the names I chose for this, Flying Beagle, Ivan the Terrible, Mary Joanna, Dante Kondo, Quintavious III, and Lump. Gotta say, I am loving, I love the names. Alright. Uh. Yeah. In this matchup, with no Roaring Moon, I am really surprised that there is no Roaring Moon in this game. The Chinchino is also a little, a little skeptical, because Dante Conda could just go in and and wreck. Uh, Gouging Fire being there is expected. Of course, uh, Deoxys is pretty much gonna show up. But this Air Slash, if it, if it, no, it's gonna land. Flying Beagle is him. But um, oh Sash, oh is it Webs? Oh, he sets up Sunny Day for himself. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. Um. I was. Oh, I should have taunt. I should have taunted expecting webs. That that would have been the goat play. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click Dark Pulse. I see no reason not to just click Dark Pulse on the. Oh my god, I'm, I was faster. I was faster even with the booster. Oh my god. Y'all, y'all gotta leave a like for Iron Beagle. Y'all gotta leave a like for Flying, Flying Jugulus. Flying Jugulus, Iron Beagle. Come on, y'all, leave a like. Leave a like. Is he gonna go into Gouging, Gouging Bro? Gouging Bro? Because, I mean, if... I mean, I'm faster than Enamorous, and I'm perfectly fine to just sack this. I don't... Actually, no, if he goes to Enamorous, I'm just gonna go into Lump, who is... Might I add, 252 plus. No, when I was mocking with BS32, he lived, he took 32 damage from a growth, max, like, modest, um, what's his name? Venusaur, um, uh, Sludge Bomb. He took 32 from a plus 2 max Venusaur Sludge Bomb. Like, that guy is actually insane. Uh, however... I am going to look at the potential terror list. Ghost, Dark, and Fairy. This is 100%. Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is 100% Terra Fairy. Um, I could. I'm gonna go. I, I think. Okay, I think that with no Roaring Moon, I think that Diancy is a lot more. Is a lot less important. It's still important because it's Diancy. But, oh, that was a good, that was a good prediction. That was a good prediction. Hey, well done. Well done. Well done on that prediction. Uh, I am going to protect to scout if it's, if it has the ability to switch moves. Uh, if it decides to Terra. So. Also, I think that, I mean, I'm assuming Deoxys speed might have some. I'm gonna just protect, see if it has a oh, future sight. Not bad, not bad. That was actually a pretty good play. Um, this does suck that Mary Joanna. I think I'm just gonna go for the Diamond Storm. I mean, I won't be able to live because it's maximum special. Oh wait, I think I might kill it. Only 50? This thing is fizz death is all hell. No, there's no. There's no way. That did so little damage. Alright, that's fine. Um. 
Well, also, it would have died due to, yeah, Future Sight. Uh, I think I'm going to Beagle, man. Do I go to the, go into the Beagle? Yeah, I think I'm going to Beagle. Can I go for a... Mm. This is tough, because he could just tear... No, there's no way it's not Terra Fairy. No, I'm going for the Dark Pulse. I don't think he's tearing. Alright, that's fine. Okay, but that ship, that ship is actually really good. Um, the thing is, I don't know, Earth Power does not 2 a KO lump. Earth Power does not 2 a KO lump. Ignore, ignore that. Yeah. However, I mean, I mean, I mean, you saw how much damage that Earth Power did. 41? That is new damage. That is new damage. And if he just goes for a substitute again, it just it's just unwinnable because I have I have Bundle in the back who does not care. Cause you're not Scarf and You're not Scarf, like you're I'm serious. You know? Lump is dude, Lump is him. <laughs> uh Alright. I'm pretty Pretty confident. Uh, if he goes into Gouge Man, Gouge Roof, goes into the Gouge, Gouge Chino, the burning, the burning balls. Mm. All right, so he sacks the Pink Boy. That's fine, cause whatever whatever happens, I do just regen. Um, I think I am going to go looking at the moveset and looking at the um, <laughs> special defense of, of the boy Thunderous. I mean, this guy is bulky. This guy's bulky. And Lump is just going to regenerate HP. I think its usefulness has probably died down. It's not the most... I... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to click Discharge. I think that... I mean, anything coming in here would be... Okay, I thought you grabbed Dark Type for a second. I was like, hold on, if I click Thunder Wave... Oh. I mean, I, I think a good play would also be to just click U-Turn, because it's uh, super effective, I think? Also, this was, No, there's no way that this mod was not, like, a lot of defense. Because... Okay, the amount of damage that it... Did I record? Okay, I've been recording. I've been recording. Okay, I was <laughs> I was a little scared for a second. Alright, 30 seconds left on the Young Gob. Young Gob. Alright, going into Chichino. Get a nice 53. Uh, does suck that I do not get the... Now, now, we're cooking, we're cooking Prankster Rain Dance here. I'm, I'm fine that this Mon got sacked. I mean, we could... Alright. So, uh... Ooh. I think we gotta go... I mean, we gotta, I mean, we gotta go the boss. We got to go the boss. I mean, we could, we could stop, I'm gonna stop the time. There we go. Um, I'd be, I think I got a sub. No, I think sub is so, no, I think I gotta go for Ice Beam. I gotta go for Ice Beam. No, I think, I think the Thunderous play was actually extremely smart. That's the same show. No, I think that, no, I think that Iron Bundle is just in a position to win. Like, I mean, like, look at the team. Yeah, exactly. See, there's nothing he can't do. Because Quintavious the third is him, him, and him. How many? <clears throat> How many letters are in him? Three. Iron bundle. Oh no, it's, it's four. We're clicking pump. What? <gasps> wow. Yo, I'm. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
What? The fart, dude. What the flip? <sighs> Bottle, bro. You had that in the bag. You had that in the bag. It was rain boosted. It was rain boosted. 1%, bro. Ooh. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, that's bad. Come on, man. I mean, I think that, I think we're in a really good position here. Because Iron, Iron Jugulus is faster. I, uh, we don't die to a, like, modest life orb psych, uh, what's it called? Uh, ice Beam. And even if you go into Gouging Fire and have... Okay. Uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Let's try this again. I think it's time we terrestrialize and we just get this game over with. Because I think the end game is pretty clear from this position. Oh my god. That damage was insane. Now we retain the HP on Iron Yugulus. We retain the HP. Because there is nothing that this guy can do to not prevent death from Dante Conda. There is nothing that bro can do. Because Rocky Helmet. See ya, buddy. See ya. Adios. Adios, amigo. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will now be confirming, confirming my win. With a nice, clean glare. We're gonna let Dante really, really look into the eyes of the speedy boy. Wait, were all of the... Oh, wait, he forgot the name is Lee Danny. But I really like the idea of having everyone be boy. Like, speedy boy, uh, pink boy, red boy. I like that. I like the idea. Good job on the naming scheme. However... Nah. <laughs> nah, I was about to be like, however, Dante Gonda is the best... Oh... Oh no. Oh, dude, um I'm so sorry, bro. Oh, dude. Did Dante live? Oh, yo! Dante is the fucking goat. Oh my god, bro. Hey, GG, GG man. Hey, GG's. Hey, GG's. Hey. Can I just say something? Y'all gotta leave a like for 2 HP Dante Conda. Santa Conda stocks just, stocks just went through the fucking roof after that game. Hey, can we get a... Yo. Dante. Dante Dantevious. Dan, Dantissimo. I just gotta say something, bro. I love you. I love you so much. I'm... I will never... I will never leave you. I will never leave you. In my heart, you just shot up like five ranks. <laughs> oh my god. If that didn't if that game did not leave you in tears. Get out. Get out of the video. Get out of the video, bro. Get out of the video. However, we start off the week with a plus three win for the Nashville Primals. That is gonna be all. For the Burnt Tower Draft League Season 4, Week 1. Thank you all for watching till the end. It makes takes a lot of time to make these teams, to prep these teams, and to go up against people. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel to see me go to Week 8 with a undefeated record when we go up against the Los Angeles Gorillas next week with coached by final crusader 15 thank you all for watching i will be seeing you later